Hey, what is going on you guys? Welcome back to another brand new video on my YouTube channel. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I am uploading three videos per week. As I said, I'm keeping up to my word. So if there's going to be a video today, tomorrow, and the day after. And basically, uh, hopefully that's going to be my schedule for as much as I can keep it. So basically, today's video is going to be about the Galaxy Tab A. And as you guys know, I made a video about it a while ago. I think summer down in August. And that video did so well, it's like one of my best videos on my channel and you guys loved it and the comments were so positive because I was kind of like the creator of that process and basically I got a better process or a procedure for you guys and this time instead of getting Super SU, you can get Majisk on your device and I'm pretty sure Super SU got bought by a Chinese company or something and then people are worried about privacy and stuff so if you are one of those people then you can use this video and it'll be better because I'm gonna be showing you how to get Majisk on it and even more better you can hide root using Majisk something which Super SU you couldn't do without an external app and sometimes external apps don't even work anyways you should see my screen right now and basically let me just quickly go and check if root is available so let me open up root, root checker and congratulations root is properly installed and the other thing is if I go to Majisk Manager right here, as you can see I have the latest version installed and SuperSU means I have given root access to a certain application and Majisk Hide means whatever application that I've chose to hide root from and I have only done that with Snapchat because Snapchat won't allow you to run if you have root on it and Snapchat 100% works perfectly fine. So there you have it. This is a working root method that will get you Majisk on your Samsung Galaxy Tab A 10.1 inch 2016 model and the model is T580, SMT580. If you have any other model, please don't watch this video and please don't comment asking me whether it'll work. It will not work. So only if you have the SMT580 10.1 inch 2016 Samsung tablet, keep watching this video and I won't cut out any videos. I will only fast forward because I want to keep the video as authentic as possible. And yeah, let's get started with today's video. All right, cool. Basically guys, I went ahead and I reinstalled the firmware on this tablet. So as you can see, it is on Android 7.0 and I basically am on a fresh device, no root anymore like before. And yeah, so basically you guys can follow along in the exact same way I'm doing it. And yeah, let's get root. All right, so the next thing that you have to do before we get started is you wanna go to your settings right here and you wanna go to about tablet and you want to go to software information and you want to keep pressing your build number until it says uh, that developer options are turned on so you want to go to developer options and right here it says OEM unlock let me zoom in for you guys see that OEM unlock I know it's not in focus there you go and just make sure OEM unlock is turned on and you can get started with the process so coming down to the computer here, you're gonna have these files. All the links are available in the description. So the first one is Odin. The second one is Majisk. The third is No Verity Opt Encrypt 5.1. And the last one is Twerp. Now remember, you need to transfer Twerp and Majisk onto your tablet. We don't need to do it exactly right now. So I'm not gonna, and we also need this. Too. And also, if you have Android 7, this is going to be easy for you uh, because I'm doing it on Android 7. And if you're still running on Marshmallow for some reason, don't worry. I still will tell you what to do and what not to do, so don't worry at all. Just keep watching. So basically, the first thing we're going to do is this. Hold down the volume down. Home. Okay, first as you turn off your tablet, that will be the easiest way. I'm just going to keep this unplugged. So once you turn off your tablet, hold down the volume down, home, and power. That'll take you to the download page. Now connect your wire back and press volume up to continue. Now basically, let me focus the camera. You're basically right now in the download mode. What this is, is... Um, this basically allows you to flash whatever thing you want 
from your computer to your tablet. So, okay, I think that looks better for you guys. Now, what I'm gonna do is on my computer, right here on Odin, I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. Alright, now on the AP file here, we're gonna press that. And we're, we're gonna go to, let me go to root video, and you see right here, twerp, GTX, whatever file is in the description for you guys to download. And we're gonna press start. And as soon as you do that, your computer is going to say pass and your thing is going to go and restart. Now as soon as this does, you want to hold the volume up, home and power. As you can see right now, I actually missed my shot and it is actually in the Samsung boot logo. However, this is not an issue at all. All you had to do is just wait till it turns back on. I kind of missed my chance, but it was my fault. So turn the tablet back off. And now unplug it and go to volume up, home, and power. Volume up, home, and power. And keep holding it until you see the twerp logo. Boom, you're basically halfway done guys. Now you want to connect back your wire, alright, now your wire is connected, you got everything ready, now your computer is going to identify your tablet when it's in this mode. So what you got to do right now is go back, see the twerp and the noverity dot encrypt that, sorry we don't need the twerp I mean, we need the magisk and noverity file, go ahead and copy those two and go to your tablet which is right there so go ahead and choose wipe format data and choose yes just wait for it to happen and there you go on your computer as soon as you do that you should see your internal storage pop up on your computer like it just did and now you can go ahead and press paste now we have the two files but i do highly recommend press reboot i'm sorry go back wipe and choose whoa, whoa, whoa my bad yeah wipe advanced wipe and choose uh cache and swipe it so you just wipe the cache and then oh hold on don't reboot the system go back to reboot and then choose reboot back to recovery and just for this part hit back oh whoa, whoa, whoa my bad reboot to recovery and just wipe actually it's been a while guys, I can't remember the exact root process, that's why, you know, I might not sound really prepared, but don't worry, I know what I'm doing, just watch the other video if you want to know if I'm reputable or not. But anyways, so once you're back in the twerp, insta uh, twerp recovery, go ahead, back to install, and now you should see the two files that we sent there. Now, here's the tricky part, if you're on Android 7 like I am, you need to flash this first. If you are on Marshmallow for some reason, you don't need to flash this, okay? So now that I'm on Android 7, I'm going to go ahead and flash this. Because what happened is, on Android 7, they introduced this thing where they detect if you're rooted or not. And if you're rooted, they won't let you boot into the operating system. So, what we just did is we just bypassed that detection system. And we choose wipe cache in Dalvik, swipe again, and back, back, back reboot into recovery okay now let that go back into recovery so now that we got the bypass detection system turned off now we can go ahead and flash magisk now once again if you're on marshmallow you can directly flash magisk now go here install and you see magisk and just choose confirm there you go and by the way guys please don't try to combine the zips together and then try to flash it because I know there's an option that says add more zips and then flash but just do it like the exact same way I'm doing it flash each one individually and then clear the cache and then reboot back and then just redo the process like that because it's just the procedure has to be equal or else it might not work properly now then wipe the cache and like again go back go back reboot into system now once again this might take a little bit longer than usual but i'm not gonna cut off the video because there are gonna be people who say the video is fake 
So I'm gonna keep it like this. I might just fast forward the video for you guys. Okay guys, as you can see, we got a little dialogue. That means it is basically almost done booting up. There you go. We got back into the welcome screen. Now this time I am going to log into my Wi-Fi and my Google account because I want to go into the Play Store and show you guys that once I download a root checker, it will work. So I'm gonna fast forward this part real quick. Okay, so basically I got my Google account and everything logged in. So let me just quickly open up my disk. Guys, I also made the video a little bit dark because I noticed that like you guys weren't clearly seeing the text properly. Now as you can see, oh there's a newer version. I'll get the newer version. There you go, you have my disk. And let me go to well the root checker okay now just agree oh go back press verify root and choose grant and there you go it says congratulations root access whoa let me focus this for you guys There you go, congratulations, root access is properly installed. Oh, I guess it's updating the app or something, that's why, that's why it closed. All right, that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to drop a like and maybe even subscribe to the channel because it really helps out. So yeah, thank you guys once again. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Keep beat.